friends okay hello friends and this is ganesh i hope you're doing great in this video we are going to see about one standard rfc function module which reads the data from any sap tables who are uh, already familiar with rfc read table function module you can skip this video so we have a business scenario or business process like uh, there should be a communication happening from non-SAP to SAP system, so everyday business interactions. So one of the examples is uh, they're trying to create a customer or they're trying to create a purchase order uh, from the portal site. So before creating, they need to send some relevant information uh, to SAP to create any one of this. For example, if you take customer number, uh, customer to be created either sold to or shipped to. So they have to pass the basic information about the name, street, uh, and a few informations, uh, it's already available in SAP, they have to reuse it. For example, country code or the region, and the regions are depends on the country code. So these kind of data, or we call it as master data, to be verified or to be fetched uh, to the portal as a pre-steps or as a predetermination, right? Before sending the actual data to create a customer. So in that scenario, we don't want to create, uh, if the portal needs uh, a few informations, we don't want to create our own custom RFC function module. And you can say, okay, you can go and do this as a first step, get all the prerequisite data, and uh, you, can, you can send back to SAP to create your own uh, document or a customer number. Instead, we have a standard function module. So that will help to read the data from any table, any fields, along with some uh, custom conditions also. So it's a kind of a simple select query on top of any table, okay? The function modules, uh, the portal team can able to pass the information. So based on that, they will get the data also. And here the, here the notable or noticed one is uh, access a smaller data. So this is okay. Uh, you can access uh, some amount of data, not very large or complex information of data. This is not advisable to do that, okay? So that is very... Uh, important thing about this function module. Let's get into the slide first. So this is the process. Uh, I have a portal and they're going to uh, send the information. So uh, as a, a prerequisite, they are using this function module and get the region code. For simple example, it's region code based on the country. So they're going to pass the country code. Based on that, they're going to get the information about the region, region details. And um, so here, these are the import parameter. Uh, so the parameter is query table, which uh, which is ready to receive your table name. It may be standard or uh, custom table. So here we are going to use T005S as uh, the, is the table name which we are going to use. Delimiter. So once uh, is the return parameter has all the data. Suppose if you want a data for more than one fields from the table, so you want the data to be delimited with a space by default it's a space or delimited with a comma slash it's very easy for them to segregate the data right so based on that they can pass the delimiter symbol and no data uh, some reasons i want to make sure there is a data over there but i don't want any data to be back to my uh, application so if that is the case they have to use this parameter as x if they pass a x they won't get any um, data back from this function module row skips uh, it's a static uh, counter like I want to skip first five rows I want to skip first seven rows so you can give some numbers it will skip the first uh, how many uh, numbers is going to be entered in this parameter row count what is the max count you need I want just a 10 I want 50 I want 25 so you can use this row count get sorted if you want the data with a sorted based on the primary keys yes you will get it and this parameter I try to figure it out what is this actually if you this is a kind of a flag if you give X, what happens is uh, there is a the informations are uh, responded in the export parameter than table parameters. Okay, if it is empty, then the same result is coming in the table parameter. So I'm not sure more about this particular uh, variable. So, <coughs> excuse me. If we find something, definitely I will share. And the table parameters we have three, and the final one is the data. Data is the parameter where you will get all the information from the table based on your condition or if it is no condition, it will give all the data to back to your application. And these are table parameters. So considerably, these are an internal table uh, format. And then options. See, options, it, it carries uh, 
string where string um, format of your var conditions suppose i want to pass uh, land equal to us land equal to de and spra is equal to english or and i want to give some other name so like character whatever you want to specify as a var condition yes they are able to make it in the options uh, field and fields is the place is it's a it's an internet table all three are internet table uh, this accept what are the fields you want if you keep the fields as empty it will give all the things if you keep the options as empty no var condition so if you want i want only two fields i want only three fields of data yes you can mention the field names then automatically it will give all the informations back to your application so basic validations are uh, possible for example table is it's, the table is already available or not the field is relevant for the table those level validations are also available in this function module and uh, but but mostly uh, you can use it only for a very very less volume of data not for a complex or huge volume and one one of the reason uh, one of the restricted uh, option over here is uh, the data, the internal table, table parameter is the maximum size for one record is 512. So if you have 25 fields or 30 fields of data you are trying to retrieve, it, all the combinations, all the uh, uh, all the values, all the 25 field values are exceeding 512, then you won't get it. So it may be truncated. Okay, And then uh, there is a, a, a exception also, data buffer exceeded. So the data volumes is more in the memory level. Again, it's going to be uh, an issue on it. Okay. So it depends on your business scenario. If really they want a little amount of data, mostly for the master data, please use this or please recommend this for the portal uh, developers. So this is not only for the portal, even the, from SAP to SAP also, you can able to use it because few things uh, probably not available. For example, in gateway, we don't have all, all the data which is available on ECC, right? In that is the case also, you are able to use it. Remember, if it is a very less <coughs> data. Okay, so that's it. Let's see a few examples in the system level. So this is my system, and if you go to AC37, functional module is RFC retable. Yep. So here, the query table, what do you actually need? It? For example, if you say Mara and no other values, no delimiter, and nothing in the options and fields and data. So I'd simply say execute. Okay, so data buffer exceeded. Okay, so it, even it's a system data system, sorry, if it is a rental system, we have very limited data, but number of fields are more. So that's why, <coughs> If you if you have excuse me, if you have uh, less volume of data to be fetched, yes, you can able to make it. And here they mentioned table Mara is too wide to display five twelve bytes. So the maximum in one row, one record, can hold maximum of only five twelve uh, as a length. So it's fine. So go back. And what I got to do was, I'm going to say I need. ATNR and MTAR. So go back, execute. Okay, so it's there is no error. Let's see the output. So there are two fields which we have entered and uh, it returns 125 records. Okay, so one is METNR, one is the MTART value. So now you can, <coughs> excuse me, now you can play around. So now you can play around um, with these information, so delimiter. So I want a delimiter of X. Oh, sorry, comma, and no data not going to give. So 125 or something, right? So I'll, I'll give, okay, let, I need only 100. That's it, execute it. So here you get only 100, and the data is are um, separated by comma. And uh, we'll go to the actual example. So T005S. So it has actually a region. Okay, so let's see. And I'm going to 
delete these values. So I have 100 records. Okay, I will still have the row count. Okay, I have 100 records and five fields. So even the delimiter also, I didn't remove it. So here, if you see, fields, I'm just giving empty, but it just get the values from all the field value, field names. Okay. So if you want, you can mention, I want only land one, I want land one and BLA and D. So whatever, if you want, you can do it. So now what I'm going to do is, <coughs> I'm going to add an option. So your option is, land one equal to this. Okay. Execute. So it has only 60 records. So it just get all the information only from the specific uh, country. So now I'm going to add an and condition. Okay, so and condition with like. So only start with A. So then go here, options, and B L A and B like A. Percentage symbol and execute. So last time it was 60, now it's just 8. So only it starts with A. Okay. So this way you are able to uh, play around with these information. So if you see no data as X, so it, it, it does returns without any issues and you will get only zero entries. And the final one is the data. So get sorter, everything is similar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give X here. Let's see the output. So here <coughs> your data is getting empty, but the export parameter is getting information. Okay. So probably uh, this it might be like .csv format because it won't uh, get the entire field space, but in the data, it will give all the space. Like if m is 40, then even though if it is filled only 80, but it will get uh, all the 40 things, right? So what I can do is let me check it out for Mara. That could be another reason. Options, I don't want any options. Probably fields I can add it. Okay. And execute it. Hundred. Yeah, probably like this. So it it just <coughs> have the delimiter once the value ends. Probably if. Uh, the application receive this kind of data format, then they can use the data for return, et data for return. So if you take this out and execute it, you can see the difference here. So it carries the entire um, data type size. So if it is 40, it carries a 40, then only the delimiter starts. Okay. So these, <coughs> excuse me. So this is the way we can use the RFC read table, mostly for uh, SAP system within um, within SAP systems or uh, your portal non-SAP, they want to use very limited data uh, from your SAP before uh, sending the actual request to create any PO or customer. This might be useful instead of creating a custom RFC function module for each request for the portal team. Okay. So I hope this might be useful. Just play around. If you have any doubt, please let me know. Uh, thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.